fibula is the cylindrical lateral bone of the leg and is very small and thin just like a brooch. A brooch which was worn by Romans is actually also called a fibula. If you look at the placement of this bone which is parallel to the tibia, you can appreciate its brooch like appearance. The tibia being the main part with the fibula acting as a pin which has to be inserted in the loop. It is also called the calf bone because it's present at the back of the leg. It is a common misconception that the upper end of the fibula is articulating with the knee joint. That is not true. It is actually present below it. Whereas from the lower end it does articulate with the lateral malleolus of the ankle joint. Did you know that the fibula bears so less body weight but has more body mass than needed by the leg so we can use it as a tissue donor. It does not play a major role in carrying your body weight because most of it is supported by the tibia as you can recall. But it forms a lot of muscle attachments as well as provides stability of the ankle joint. As the fibula does not carry much of the body weight, so let us think, can we live without a fibula? Yes, in theory, because the fibula runs on the outside of the leg, so it can be removed without affecting our leg or our ability to bear the body's weight. For the purpose of study, we divide fibula into three parts proximal or upper end, a shaft, and distal or lower end. Now, how can we determine the anatomical position of the fibula? Hold the fibula in vertical position, proximal end facing upwards towards the knee, and distal end facing downwards towards the ankle joint. This was just the major introduction to fibula. Let's move forward to the bony landmarks.